we're joined now by the boss man, my boss man at least, uh, Bob Aram. Bob, uh, we've started Fight Week. You had your chance to take a look at Terrence Crawford. Always comes in great shape. What do you expect from him come this Saturday, July 23rd? I think it's going to be a great Terrence Crawford uh, performance because Victor Postal is fit and ready to go. And the thing I like about it, I've been telling these writers, is this is uh, not only two champions going at each other who, who weigh, weigh the same 140, but this is a pitting of two different styles. Uh, Victor Postal has the typical Eastern European style. He stands up, he doesn't move a lot, but he's a very good defensive fighter, and then he picks his shots. Real typical, disciplined Eastern European fighter. And Terrence Crawford has the American style, or really the African-American style. It's the style that's developed by Ray Robinson, handed down to Muhammad Ali, uh, then uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, and finally uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather. And now you have uh, Terrence Crawford, who has that same style and uh, is really a great practitioner of the American style. And where Crawford shines is like a great jazz player. He can improvise off that style. The African-American style, which is a lot of movement and so forth, it really emphasizes rhythm. And because of that rhythm, you can then uh, add flourishes like Terrence does, switching in the middle of a round from southpaw to right hand, to right hand to southpaw, going from a boxer to a puncher. That is the improvisation to the American style that Terrence Crawford brings. So I am fascinated by this fight. I am really fascinated to see how this plays out where you have the, uh, you know, a top level guy like Postal, the WBC champion, great practitioner mm -hmm. of the Eastern European style against Crawford, who is the really heir apparent uh, to those fighters that grew up with the American style. Well, and that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about because that some elite company, those names that you mentioned, um, with that African American style, a as you mentioned, where do you see Terrence uh, fitting in in that role? Because it seems like he's grown and developed before our eyes. When we first saw him against Breedis Prescott, everyone's like, who is this kid? Had the dreads, and you're kind of like, weren't really sure. And then each and every fight, he's grown, he's garnered more fans, he's, he's shown more excitement. Where, where do you see him fitting in um, when it's all said and done? Well, I think his style is unbelievable and his ability is unbelievable, but like all great fighters, it takes time for it to come to the forefront because so much of boxing is confidence. I mean, a fighter can't use all of his skills until he becomes confident that the skills will work. And as he has now progressed in his professional career, and as he sees that what he's doing is working, he will add more and more flourishes to that style because he has confidence in what he's doing. When you start out, it's very hard for a fighter to have confidence. And in many cases, it's a false confidence. He has confidence because he now has gone through a lot of these fights where he's used different styles to get his opponents out of there, and they all seem to have worked. Fighters don't like to think too far ahead, so oftentimes when you ask them what do they want next, they say, you know, they leave it up to the promoter, but as the promoter's job, you're kind of always two steps ahead of these guys. These guys win, they unify the titles, they're uh, the WBO and WBC champs at 140. Uh, Terrence or Victor, both promoted by top rank, where do they go from here? Do they try to get the IBF title? Do you see maybe a move up to 147? Who do you kind of like for the winner of this fight? Well, you know, today is today. Yesterday was yesterday, who cares? And tomorrow will take care of itself. So we'll see. Let's have this fight as good as we think it is, and then we'll plan uh, from there. Uh, I'm looking forward 
to July 23rd to Saturday night. I think it'll be a great, great main event. It's a great undercard. We have some spectacular fighters like Oscar Valdez on the card. Uh, and uh, a Ukrainian kid, who uh, Alexander Vutsa, who probably is maybe among the top three light heavyweights in the world right now. So it's going to be a great night of boxing. All right, we're looking forward to it. Join us in Las Vegas Saturday, July 23rd at the MGM or live on pay-per-view. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.